I'm JG Quintel. I created Regular Show, and I'm the voice of Mordecai and High Five Ghost. All right. Bill Salyers, he hired me, and I'm Rigby. Sam Marin, and I'm the voice of Benson and Pops and Muscle Man. So for you, when, when approaching this, and you guys have a relatively un unorthodox way of working, uh, for you, like, what, what do you think of when you approach a, an episode like this? It's going to be 66 minutes or 70 minutes. Well, because we've done so many things in the show that are pretty epic, we tried to find something that we hadn't really done yet. Yeah. And that's when we kind of hit on the Mordecai and Rigby relationship being in danger. I mean, they fight all the time, but they're like solid friends. So we've never seen them almost not be friends. And mm -hmm. we wanted to kind of explore that. For the regular show, we we write with this game where we throw fake titles into a hat and then we draw them out of the hat and we put a timer for two minutes and then you try to write as much of an episode as you can based on that title. And then we just keep drawing the titles for like an hour. So after an hour with our writer's room, you have 150 ideas that are all pretty horrible. But <laughs> some of them are okay and some of them make us laugh. And so we'll kind of write based on those and that's what turns into episodes, those nuggets. And so we kind of employed that process too for the movie. What was your favorite animated show growing up? Favorite animated show? Let's go down the line. Um, I really was a big fan of Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. I really liked <laughs> yeah. Ren and Stimpy. I really liked Rocco's Modern Life. And I was really <laughs> pumped um, to get to work on Camp Lazlo because I got to meet Joe Murray and work mm -hmm. with him a little bit. It was really cool. I'm old school, so for me it was Bugs Bunny. It was like, <laughs> you know, that, that classic kind of like, uh, I think he formed the, uh, the sense of humor for a whole generation of people. And that was me. I think the, the animated Batman series Ooh. from the Ooh. 90s. Yeah. How did you get the idea for regular show? Yeah. It's, uh, it's based off of me and my friends in college. So um, two of a lot of the characters come from shorts that I did while I was in college. And then I put it all together to make regular show. And all the stuff you see in regular show, like Mordecai and Rigby going, <laughs> and like, what? Like all that stuff, we did that in college. That was us for real. And now I can't do it because it looks like I'm copying the cartoon. So. <laughs> what gave you the idea of the movie? The writer's game. The, we like came up with it in the writer's room a lot. And then also the, the concept of the Rigby betraying Mordecai. But in a way that you could understand why he would do it. Like, I wanted to make sure it wasn't just him being a jerk, but that he was afraid of losing his best friend because you could understand where he was coming from, even though it's, like, a horrible thing. But Rigby always does horrible things, so... Wait, what? It made sense. What? It made sense he would do something that bad. How did you guys come up with the character, the Death Kwon Do instructor? <laughs> ah. I love your costume, by the way. Thank yeah. you. Seems like your favorite Also, character. you sign my notebook of, of death. Of course, of course. Um, that... Again, it's like the writer's game. It was probably like, oh, Rigby wants to, you know, beat Mordecai at punchies because he's so weak. And so he goes to this, like, weird karate instructor that's like <laughs> Death Kwondo. And Sam, you're the voice of that guy, right? You are not worthy of the <laughs> art of Death Kwondo. If you had to pick Mordecai or Rigby, which one do you think you would pick? Ooh. Oh. I think there's some bias in the... Yeah, panel. I'm going to have to pick Mordecai. This is not going to go uh, surprisingly. Um, I would pick mm, Rigby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sam, you're the decider. No, no pressure from your boss. This isn't fair. <laughs> Mordecai? What? A what? Stop talking! Excellent choice. <laughs> what was your inspiration for Mr. Ross in the movie? Like, was he inspired from a teacher you had that you really didn't like or something? <laughs> where's where's so, that guy come from? Originally, he was just kind of a villain who was out to get them. And there was, we, it was a little less clear what was going on with who he was. And then Sean, the supervising, the guy who made the Royals short, he had a volleyball coach. Um, and he said that he boarded a bunch of things that that guy actually did. <laughs> like, all the like, up high, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of, he, was a, he played volleyball, so he had a lot of real things to put in there. That's why the volleyball seems so legit, everybody. Can I just <laughs> tell you, though, that uh, everybody has had a Mr. Ross yeah. at some point or other. 
how did you come up with the original design for Mordecai, Rigby, and all the other main characters? Oh, great question. Different things. Character design is always like the hardest for me. I'm not very good at it. And I remember Mordecai came about doodling in class at Cal Arts like over the course of a few weeks. Like I kept drawing this bluebird. We have a lot of scrub jays where I'm from in California, and I really like those birds. So I kept drawing this bird character that it was from a short that I kind of like abandoned where it was gonna be about a, a blue jay that was like a man, but like he was gonna be trying to escape a zoo and Anyway, so he was that, and then Rigby just was like, one day at work, I just drew it, and it was just like a raccoon hula hooping. <laughs> and I was like, I gotta put that in something. Um, and then, yeah, they all come about pretty weird. Like, the, the Pops drawing was from a game at school where we were trying to make quick films, and the, the word was lollipop that you had to base your film off of. And so I drew a picture of this lollipop man that looks just like Pops, and he's like really mad that someone wouldn't take his money or something. <laughs> Do you have any advice for like um, young artists and animators? Oh, yeah. I think um, you should definitely go to art classes, have a sketchbook and carry it around with you all the time. Just <laughs> wherever you're sitting and waiting, draw people, draw as many people as you can. Because that's what you'll do if you go to college for this. They'll just have you draw and do figure drawing. That was one of my uh, figure drawing teachers. One of his sayings was like, you draw, you draw, you draw and then you die. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. It's, it's wow. heavy. Also, we had a good one about um, you have 10,000 bad drawings in you, so the faster you get those out, the quicker you'll get good. So just draw a lot. Sam? Uh, yeah, that's probably the best advice. Um, and just uh, you know, find out what inspires you and, and watch that and try to make things uh, like it and learn from it. Yeah, weirdly enough, the same is true of acting. It's yeah. like you... Like you you do it and do it and do it, and someday you'll be good at it. Were you the first choice to voice Mordecai? Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did have to audition other Mordecais, which was painful, but I think it was the network being like, you're not an actor. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, please, I could do it, trust me. Was oh, there a close yeah. second? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I buried it. I was like, there's no one worth listening to. <laughs> I'm an animator. I'm in high school right now. Um, I just want your advice of how should I um, start my career, I guess. Well, if you're already doing it, I definitely would say it's worth going to college um, right. to just focus like solely on it. Because definitely in high school, you have a lot of classes that you still have to keep up with that you're probably annoyed by. <laughs> um, but yeah, once you get into art school, like that's all you have to do. So you just like spend all your time drawing and animating, and then you'll really know for sure, like, oh yeah, I want to do this. Because if, if you like it there, you'll like doing it as a job, which is the same. It's like that's all you do. So if you can do it that much, you'll be into it. And if you're still in high school, there's a really cool thing called California State Summer School for the Arts, which I would check out. Um, they they do like a month long intense summer school for like animators. Um, really all art forms, but there's an animation one where it's like all you do is study animation and watch films and make a film, and it's worth checking out. How long did it take to make the movie? Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, so a normal episode takes, and it's 11 minutes long, takes nine months, which is like from the beginning of writing it to delivering it where we could play it on TV, it's nine months. Wow. And we're working on 20 at a time, so like every step of the process, like one of those episodes is like, it's like a production line. And then the movie took two and a half years. We started thinking about it at the end of season five. And we just showed you this and we're working, we've like written 10 episodes of season eight. So that's how long it took to make it. My son, whose name is Evan also, is eight years old. And over the last few years, we've been able to share your show together. It's brought us a lot of joy. So I wanted to tell you, I appreciate that. Thank you. My question was, what is your favorite catchphrase that you've come up with for the characters? I really like the my mom stuff that Hustle Man does. Because I remember that. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I remember like when I drew him, it was just him, this like pudgy, weird looking guy next to a floaty high five ghost. And the only thing I knew about him at that point was like, he's gonna say your mom jokes wrong. <laughs> he's gonna say my mom instead. And so 
it was cool to see him evolve over the course of the show and like actually become a person that I feel like people know who that is, but that's all he was at the beginning was the my mom joke. Stop talking! <laughs> <laughs> that's mine. Cool. Be yours soon. Um, I, I guess just good show. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they make Mordecai fly even though he's a bird? Come on. <laughs> Why can't he fly? That's a really good question. Well, so the reason they all look bizarre is that I wanted to make something where it felt like when you know your friends and your family really, really well, you know them more than you know other people. Um, and that's why all the characters in regular show in the background are just humans, like not weird things. So they're like all of your like best friends and you know them really well. But so he's, he's really just like, he's a guy, even though he looks like a bird. So that's why he doesn't necessarily fly. Um, although, you know, he flew in the movie, in the spaceship, I guess you could kind of count that. That's something, right? <laughs> I know, not like a real bird. It doesn't uh, I wouldn't count that. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, one more round of applause for these guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming, you guys.